multi-digit multiplication using number chips. This is the New Year's version. This is a digital lesson. It's a lot of fun for the students. And it starts just explaining how to line up the numbers. So they're lined up in the ones place, just like you do when you're adding or subtracting. And if one number has more digits than the other, it's going to go in the top row. And then it explains um, how to multiply just with a three digit by one digit number. So you're going to multiply from right to left. So we break it up into smaller, smaller steps. So this one would be from right to left, three times three, then three times two, then three times five. <clears throat> and the next slide shows how that works. So three times three, we're going to place the nine. And then three times two, and that's actually three times 20 because the two is in the tens place. That's why our six would actually be 60 in the tens place. So again, right to left, three times three, three times two. And then for our final number, three times five is 15 with an answer of 1,569. The students are gonna start on slide five. So they've got these number chips and they have every number they need on every slide. So they have to place them in one of the circles. And so we've got two problems here. So we're gonna start by clicking and holding on the edge. So six times two would be 12. Click and hold on the two right on the edge and you can move it into place. So six times two is 12. We're gonna carry a one. So two times four is eight plus one is nine. And then two times one is two again. For a solution of 292. And then same thing over here. And this time we have four digits. So three times three, two, three times three, and then three times nine would be 27. Now, if you'll notice that every problem on the slide deck has a yellow heart with a letter in it. So students are going to use that on the very last slide in order to solve a riddle. So they're going to match their solution to a letter. I'm going to do the same thing on the next slide. And then it shows students what to do when you we get a two digit product. You're going to write the number that's in the ones place and then you're going to carry that other number to the next column to the left right above this number. So here we have four times seven is 28. We're going to leave the eight, carry the two. Then we take four times four is 16 and we're going to add the two. That gives us 18. Now that eight's going to stay there. The one is going to go now to the next column in, on the left, right above this number. We're going to multiply four times six and then add the one. So on the next slide, they've got the numbers here that they're going to carry. So six times five is 30. We're going to leave the zero. We're going to carry the three up to the next column. Five times five is 25. Add three, we get 28. We're going to leave the eight and carry the two. Five times three is 15 plus two is 17. We're going to leave the seven carry the one and five times four is 20 plus one is 21. Now the problems get a little bit more difficult long longer as we go and the number chips reduce some of the frustration because all the numbers they need are here. So if they get toward the end of their problem and the numbers aren't working that means they've made an error and they can go back and check again. Next slide, they're gonna do the same thing. Then they're shown how to multiply with a three digit by a two digit number. So here we're gonna break it into two different parts. So we're gonna multiply 312 times three, the number in the ones place, and then 312 times 20, which is the number in the tens place. So when you multiply here, it's just three times two, three times one, and three times three. The second row, we always have to start with a zero because we're multiplying here by 20, not two. So we start with a zero and then we multiply two times two, two times one, and two times three. So now we've broken this into two different multiplication problems. Now we're gonna add our solutions together to get our final answer. So students are gonna try that on the next slide. So here again, five times two, 
carry the 1, give us 21, and then 5 times 7, 35, plus 2 is 37. Now, once they get this far, make sure they start the second row with a 0, and now we're going to multiply 3 times 2, 3 times 4, and 3 times 7, and then add those two together. They should be using every single number. If the, again, if these numbers aren't working, they know they've made an error and they need to go back and check. Same thing on the next slide. Just going to move those over. Okay, we've got a few more to practice. Now we've got a four digit by three digit. So we're going to break this multiplication into three different parts. We're going to start multiplying with the seven from right to left, so this row. Then we're going to multiply with the 20, or the 2. So we have to start that second row with a 0. So 2 times 2, 2 times 3, so from right to left. Now the third row, we're multiplying by the number in the hundreds place. So we have to start this row with two zeros, and those are already done for them. Now they just have to do the multiplication and add the products. They've got one more like that. Now on the final slide, these are all the answers they should have come up with on the previous slides. They're going to go back, find these answers, and then look for the letter that's in the yellow heart, and they're going to type this right above its answer. And if they do this correctly, it should answer the riddle, why is the person who plans the New Year's celebration in trouble every year? So that is a digital lesson on multi-digit multiplication with number chips, the New Year's version.